third pick, the Boston Celtics select Jalen Brown. With the third pick, the Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum. The Tom pick to the San Antonio Spurs, and the Boston Celtics will be receiving Derek White. What did the Porzingis move do for the Celtics? I think it makes them the title favorites. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Drew has a uh, high character, uh, plays with a great mindset, and of being a tough defender. So we've done tenure rebuilds with some really bad teams in the NBA, like the Spurs, the Pistons, and the Hornets. We've done some tenure rebuilds with teams that are pretty good right now, but then have questionable futures like the Warriors and the Suns. But let's do a tenure rebuild with a team that could start a dynasty this year and maybe good for the next decade plus. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Yes, tenure rebuild with the Boston Celtics, a team that has a top five-ish player in the NBA, Jason Tatum, at 26 years old. Another top 25 player in the NBA that's fresh off that at Supermax, Jalen Brown, six years, $320 million. That is insane. Kristaps Porzingis, one of the best pickups from the 2023 offseason. He has been phenomenal, a borderline all-star player for the Celtics in his first year there. They got Drew Holiday, who's definitely sacrificed some of his scoring ability. He's going to be a free agent at the end of the year. I don't know if I'm going to bring him back on a long-term deal, but he's still one of the best guard defenders or just overall defenders in the league. You have Derek White, a do-it-all guy. He's efficient this year, an incredible defender. And you have Al Horford. Now, the bench isn't great. That's going to be a flaw with the Celtics. Can they withstand injuries? Will KP stay healthy? Either way, though, I plan on winning multiple finals in this video. Hopefully, we don't have to wait till year seven to win one. So, Vuka Doncic wins MVP this season. I think it may go to Nikola Jokic in real life. Wemby wins rookie of the year. Probably going to happen. Malik Monk, six minute of the year. Hell yeah, I think that's going to happen as well. Victor Wembanyama, deploy. It could happen, but I think it's going to go to Gobert. Kobe White, most improved. I think that will happen. Clutch player of the year, AD. That may go to Curry or Vuka. Joe Mazzula, coach of the year. Uh, that could happen as well, but I think it could also go to Mark Dagno or Chris Finch in the Western Conference. Also, shout out to JV Bickerstaff as well. AD on all NBA first team. All right, that's interesting. We get no Boston Celtics on the first two teams. Trey Young makes it okay. What, what, what is 2K doing there? Tatum, all NBA third team. We do get Derek White on all defensive second team. I'll take that. And we are obviously the one seed in the Eastern Conference. We're going to be going up against the eight seeded Atlanta Hawks in round number one. So they made it out of the play in tournament. So we're obviously going to play our starters a ton in the playoffs. I don't even know how this rotation is going to look. I think Tillman's going to get minutes. Cornette, I don't know. I think Cornette could get minutes. Same as Sam Hauser, but I'm going to go like seven apiece. Tillman, 15 is fine. Pritchard, 15. We'll do 25 to Horford. So how do I want to allocate this? Can I go 35 to the backcourt? Probably not. So you know what? Luke Cornette, probably not needed with Tillman there. So I got about nine more minutes to play around with. Tatum, 38. And I think Brown, 38 as well. We'll keep KP at 32 for now. I mean, I don't think we should lose a single game to the Hawks, but we lose game one. 2K makes me lose by 23. All right. Love that. Off to a fantastic start game. What? 2K. No, we're not doing this right now. We're down 2-0. We lose by four to the Hawks. All right. Please tell me we're going to win four in a row. I give up. I give up. This team just goes through the whole Eastern Conference and we're going to lose in round one to the Atlanta Hawks. We lost by 15. These games aren't even close. Oh my God, Drew, you were shooting me out of these games. Game number four, are we going to get swept? Oh, that just makes total sense. <laughs> oh, you can't make this up. 2K. What? What shit are you on that we're going to get swept in your number one? All right, I see how it is. The Hawks are just in the NBA. What? Oh. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I can't. I can't. Trey Young, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, averages 42 and 11. They go 12 and 2. They lose only one game to the Heat and one game to the Bucs, and here they are in the NBA Finals, and they end up winning in seven. All right. The, the team that beat us ends up winning the NBA Finals, the eight seed. I've already lost my mind, and we're just one year into this video. Not even one year. Basically half a season, because we use start today. Al Horford goes, I've seen enough. I'm not staying around for much longer. He retires. So does Pop. Kyle Howard gets his jersey retired by the Raptors. We do own our first round pick, 29th in this draft. I'm going to try to trade up maybe a little bit, or we could stay there because I think we definitely need to insert some youth to this bench. As Missoula, I don't know, man. If we got swept by an 18, he'd probably get fired, but I'll put that on 2K for now. But if we ended up losing, like not in the finals next year, he's going to get fired. All right, so I'm going to see if I can move Jaden Springer, 29, and our late second rounder for 25 to the Wizards. They agree to that. So we are going to have the 25th pick in this draft. 
Pick number one is going to be Stefan Castle out of UConn going to the Charlotte Hornets. Interesting fit, but I guess as a combo guard could be next to Lamelo. Alexander Saar goes to the Pistons at number two to play alongside Jalen Duren in that front court. Cody Williams goes three to the Magic. They got some lottery luck. Spurs get Zachary Reese at number four, and the Wizards at five select Reed Shepard out of Kentucky. All right, so I'm going to select Kalel Ware out of Indiana here at number 25 with Al Horford retiring. I don't know if Luke Cornett is going to be the backup five or Xavier Tillman since he's a free agent, so we're going to bring in Ware from Indiana, and we're going to sign him to his four-year rookie contract. So Drew Holiday opts in, which makes it easy for me. So this may be his last year with the Celtics because he may regress. Sam Howard's not going to pick up that team option. Ose Brissett comes back. LeBron and PG are going to head to free agency. J.D. Davison, I'm going to let walk. Yeah, Luke Cornett and Tillman. I don't think I'm going to bring back. I think I'm going to have Kalel Ware be the backup five. I'm going to see if I can land Luke Cornett on a three-year deal worth around $4 million each year. Last year is not going to be fully guaranteed. And we are going to get him. So we get some floor spacing off the bench and some much-needed shooting. So the bench like unit right now is Peyton Pritchard, Luke Kennard, maybe Jordan Walsh, maybe Sam Hauser, Brissett, and Kalel Ware. I mean, it's not great. I mean, I'm going to bring back Luke Cornett on the minimum, but I think I want to play Kalel Ware the back of five minutes, so I don't think I'm going to bring back Tillman. I'm also going to sign former Nittany Lion Lamar Stevens here to a one-year deal. We snag him. LeBron goes to the Pistons like we all expected. Paul George back to the Clippers. James Harden stays with the Clippers. DeRozan goes to Philadelphia and they re-sign Tobias. So taking a look here at player progression, Drew Holiday does regress. So we're probably going to be seeing his final year as a Boston Celtic. And obviously Tatum would be getting the Supermax very soon and they would have to figure out a Derek White extension because he's on one of the best contracts in the league and he could probably get like north of 30 million on the open market, which is just crazy. All right, so let's come up with this year two rotation. It's going to be the same. Hopefully the bench is a little bit better. I, I can't believe we got swept by the Atlanta Hawks. That makes me very nervous for how this rebuild is going to go. So I definitely want to see what Kalel uh, Ware could do in his rookie season. He's probably going to get like 17 minutes a night off the bench. I mean, that's what we could rock with right now. Just a four-man bench unit with like Kennard getting 23, Pritchard getting 20. Uh, we can go 32 to Porzingis, 36 to Tatum and Brown. Let's do 33 to Derek White. 30, honestly, three to Drew Holiday. And we'll do 33 to KP. Under Maz, we are four-star balance. Just a little nervous, man. Just a little nervous. First game of the year, we do blow out the Pistons. Tatum puts up an MVP caliber no, our game. Contract extensions, we can lock down Tatum right now. Let's do it. Going to give him a three-year extension. I don't know if that means he opts into that player option this year. Um, 34 million. So now uh, three-year extension on top of that. So he's going to be making the most you can give him in 2K uh, for that extension. Brown, obviously, he's going to be making that super max money. So he's fine. White's a free agent. So we want to re-sign him. I think Holiday's gone. And White, we're going to give $88 million to over four years, but it's going to ascend in value. So we, we locked up those guys before the season started. All right, so we're here at the trade deadline. And of course, this team is just 30 and 20. 2K is just not going to like us. No way we beat the Cavs in the playoffs, which scares me, man. Luke Cornett, or Luke Cornett, Luke Kennard has been very efficient. 48 from three, 95 from the line in 23 minutes. Like definitely good off the bench. Peyton Pritchard has been much more efficient this year, which we like to see um, than like maybe I thought 2K would have given him credit for. Kalel Ware is knocking down some three-pointers and he's blocking a shot a night, which is is uh, great to see Sam Hauser shooting 39 from three. I think like that's the spot we'd look to upgrade on. I mean, our draft capital situation isn't the best. We do own our first this year and next year, but down the line, we are going to owe um, the Spurs a swap from the Derek White deal. That was truly an amazing trade for the Celtics. All right, so I'm going to do this trade with the Washington Wizards. I'm going to send them our lottery protected first round pick next year, just because I like the 25 draft, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we're going to give them Sam Hauser. We're going to get Simone Fontecchio, and we're going to get Jared Butler in this deal. So Fontecchio will probably just be the ninth man. I know trading a first round pick for like the last guy in your rotation probably isn't the smartest idea. All right, maybe this is going to be a challenge. What? We're 34 and 39. I, d I don't get it. I really don't. Um... <laughs> We're going to end the season under 500 with this Boston Celtics team. I'm at a loss for words. I mean, I'm definitely firing Joe Missoula. I don't know if I can use him as a scapegoat. We're probably going to let Drew Holiday walk. I may make Derek White the point guard, Brown the shooting guard, and Tatum the small forward. Maybe that's what's not working. But if we're not in the playing tournament, like, I think we can get out of it. What the hell just happened this season? So this is definitely off to a rocky start. I thought at this point we could have had two rings by now. And there's a chance we didn't even make the playoffs in year number two. Well, where was on our rookie second team, which is nice. And we ended up in the playing tournament taking on the Knicks as the 10th seed. That is insane. Insane that this team could not go further. Derek White was still pretty efficient. I think he could be my starting point guard. I mean, Chris Ops was good ish the efficiency did drop off i mean drew holiday isn't what he used to be still a solid defender though i thought the bench was fine fontecchio shot oh not a good trade for me at all giving up a protected first for that all right so here we are taking on the knicks 
in the playing tournament. Just This is just to advance to the second leg of the playing tournament, and we're getting blown out. Number 13. Does anybody want to help out Tatum? Jalen Brown, you want to maybe take over a little bit? You're making like $60 million a year. That would be nice. We're down by 13 here in the third. Can we come back? We're down by 11. Come on. We're down by 8. Can we do it? Oh, my God. Down by 14. Jesus, man. Miles McBride. J Julius Randle's got 40 on us. I guess Tatum can't guard him. I don't know. And we're going to lose in the first leg of the playing tournament. Well, I'm glad I didn't trade away my first round pick because it's going to end up being a goddamn lottery pick, which is insane. Now that I think about it, I do see the Celtics picking high in some of these 2025 and 26 drafts. All right, so Shea, Eastern Co or Western Conference Finals MVP, Halliburton in the East, and the Pacers have won a finals before us. I guess they won the Malcolm Brogdon trade. All right, so does anybody retire? I'm definitely going to either let Drew Holiday walk or maybe do a sign and trade with him. I mean, let's see where we end up in the lottery. Who knows? Maybe we get some insane luck. We're projected at pick 10, so I doubt that happens. That would be pretty sick, though. Yeah, we stay at 10. Uh, Joe Mazzulla's contract expired, so we're going to let him walk. Can I maybe steal Mark Dagno? Come on. A historic franchise like Boston, it's every coach's dream to coach the Celtics. If not, I'll offer Frank Vogel a deal. He won a title with the Lakers in 2020. Uh, Taylor Jenkins, like Will Hardy could finally be the Celtics coach. All right, I'll get one of these guys. I get my choice. I'm going to take Mark Dagno to be the next Celtics coach. Hopefully he could be the one that could turn this team around because right now we are not doing too well. All right, so let's just see who's available for us at 10. I don't think I'm going to trade up at all. Uh, Cooper Flag was number one to the Thunder. Good thing we are in the Eastern Conference. God damn. The Nets via the Suns get Ace Bailey. The Rockets, um, or no, excuse me, the Kings select Drake Powell. The Rockets, is one of these two picks is from the Nets, and they get Floyd Badunga from Kansas. And then right after is Javiel Bethea. I was kind of hoping he was going to fall to me. I'm really looking for a guard here with my next pick or a true power forward. And Ian Jackson is here from UNC, so I may target him or Trey Johnson. And yeah, I think I'm going to go with Ian Jackson from North Carolina, who could be a good bench scorer for us. Right now, I'm either debating doing Derek White at the one, Jalen Brown at the two, and then Tatum three, maybe Chris Ups four, Kowal Ware five. We could start Ian Jackson at the two with White at the one and keep Tatum at the four, but I don't know how that really worked out for us. So let's sign Ian Jackson. Team player options, we don't have anybody to deal with. Qualifying offers, we're going to let uh, Davison and Jimmy Butler, or not Jimmy, Jared Butler walk. We are going to let Drew Holiday walk. I'm going to see if I can sign Jonathan Isaac to a two-year deal worth around $10 million total, um, maybe a little bit more, just so we can play some defense for us. It'll be fully guaranteed. So we are going to renounce the rights on Drew. You know what? Drew doesn't have any offers. Do I bring him back on just like a one-year deal? I don't think he's going to start for us. All right, so I'll overpay for him so we can get $17 more million guaranteed, and we're going to get him back on a one-year deal. Mitchell stays with the Cavs. LeBron goes to Toronto. He doesn't retire. All right, Jalen Brunson goes to Detroit. Kyrie Irving back to the Nets. So Drew Holiday regresses a ton. Good thing I didn't sign him to be a starter. All right, so I think I'm going to start Derek White at the one, Jalen Brown at the two, Tatum at the three, Chris Ups at the four, and Kalel Ware at the five. We're going to go for a little bit more size with this lineup. All right, so this is what it may look like for year three. Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, KP, Kalel Ware, with Ian Jackson, Luke Kennard, Prayton Pritchard, Simone Fontecchio, Jonathan Isaac, and Drew Holiday off the bench. That will change on who's efficient, who's not, who's being a good defensive inputter, who's not. We are three and a half stars under Mark Dagno. First game of the season's at home against the Nets, and we lost by eight. 2K hates the Celtics. Holy shit, they actually hate the Celtics. I have no idea why but they despise them. God damn. All right, so this team is 26 and 25 at the deadline. Tatum, can you please take over this team? Wow, we are, I guess, in the pack of this team. We could end up as the three seed at the end of the year. Looking at the stats here, Tatum is our number one scorer, followed by Jalen Brown. There's Chris Stops, Derek White, uh, Ian Jackson. Yeah, I don't think Kalel Ware is going to be the center for the remaining part of the season. So I think that could be something we look to upgrade uh, right now at the deadline. And I'm going to make this trade with the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're going to be giving them Simone Fontecchio and Luke Kennard. Some floor spacing ability uh, is going to go over to Cleveland and some good shooters. We're going to be getting Jalen Smith, who's on a one-year deal. Might start for us at the five. And then we're going to get an unprotected first-round pick from Cleveland in 2029. I don't know if this is going to turn the team around at all. Let's hope so. I don't really have anybody to resign. It looks like Chris Ops doesn't even want to come back. Maybe I should have looked to trade him. All right, so we ended the season with a 44-38 and 38 record. So convinced 2K hates us um, as Shea wins MVP, Ace Bailey, Rookie of the Year, Nikola Topic in Dallas, winning Sixth Man of the Year, Wemby, Depoy, most improved goes to Jaden Hardy, so they take home two awards, three awards, Luka Doncic wins Clutch Player of the Year, and the Thunder goes 72 and 10, I know that they drafted Cooper Flag. good thing that we are in the East, we get nobody on it all NBA team, yeah, fully convinced 2K hates the Celtics, and I know I'm gonna have to make some type of big move this offseason, we end up as the five seed here in the East with this kind of new lineup rotation out here, with Jalen Smith and KP in the front court, and then we move Jalen Brown 
Brown back to the two. Here were the stats throughout the season with Tatum leading the team in scoring, followed by Brown. KP, who doesn't really want to be here, so he's probably going to be a sign and trade candidate this offseason, unfortunately. Derek White, still really good. I don't know if I want him to be like a starter. Maybe he's going to be best suited as a six man. We'll see. Ian Jackson had a pretty solid rookie year, though. Um, Jalen Smith pretty good as well. Um, Kalo Ware was fine off the bench, just not really a great three-point shooter right now. Don't think I'm going to be playing Jonathan Isaac for the playoffs. So to construct this playoff rotation, we're probably going to rock with the same starting five. Ian Jackson as a sixth man, Justin Ho or J excuse me, Drew Holiday um, as the seventh man. And then, yeah, like Ware could get like 12 minutes a night. Let's go 13 to Pritchard. Let's go 16 to Holiday. Let's go 25 to Ian Jackson. Let's do 30 to Jalen Smith, 35 KP, 38 Tatum, 38 Brown, 33 Derek White. System proficiency with the squad is four star um, under Mark Dagno. So yeah, Will Hardy uh, was the new Thunder coach. He goes 72 and 10. They got Jalen Brunson in Detroit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alexander Starr, it's a good young team. Cade's off the bench. Maybe I try trading for Cade Cunningham this off season. That could definitely be a possibility. Wait a second. Nah, they win game one. They blow us out. But Cade may be a free agent, which would actually, nope, he signed an extension there. All right, so we may try to get him out of there. We'll see. Um, we'll keep an eye on that. Game number two goes to the Boston Celtics. All right, can we finally get a playoff series victory in this video? That'd be nice. We go down two to one. Oh my God, they blow us out. God damn it, man. Game number four, we tied up two to two. We ended up winning by two points. Jalen Smith drops 24 and nine. All right, well, he's having a very good playoff series. Game number five goes to the Pistons. They ended up winning by 12. Here we go. Game number six. This is must win at the TD Garden to force a game seven. We just dropped 50 points in the first quarter. If we drop 50, in the, oh my God, we're going to drop 50 in the first just to lose. Don't do this to me, 2K. All right. It looks like we are going to force a game seven. We only finished with 121. Like we're on pace for 200 points. Um, And then after the first, but Tatum drops 44. Love to see that. He did someone shoot one for 14? No, we shot 11 for 14 from three. Here we go. Game seven, Pistons, Celtics. Can we win this one on the road? Just make it close. I'll hop in if needed. Um, I would like to just get a playoff series victory under our belt. Maybe Missoula was the problem and Mark Dagno can lead us to the promised land. Come on. You're down by six. Dude, oh my God. What a horrible fourth quarter, man. Oh my God. Just nobody wants to score. Um, we are down by nine with three minutes to go. All right, so my theory of if you're winning, you get the ball first is incorrect here because we have the ball right now. Um, KP, give me a screen. I don't know. I don't know if I like Ian Jackson in right now. KP, we need a three here. We need a three. All right, well, I'm not going to get a three, but we're going to have Jaden Ivey on me or Marcus Sasser. So this should be an easy bucket for Kristaps. Kristaps left hand, good. So Derek White is like incredibly tired. All right, so we'll get in Drew Holiday if needed. I hope this team is evaluating Kristaps Porzingis because that's who I'm probably going to headline for Kate Cunningham. I don't think I would give them Jalen Brown. I don't know. No, though. Let's let's try to win this game. KP gets a contest on Thompson. Yes. All right. Thank God we got a rebound there. I thought we were gonna have bad positioning. Um, Jalen Smith is gonna run the floor back out to KP. Oh, I thought about. Okay, he's got Kate on him. Come on, KP. This is gonna be all you here in the post, guarded by Kate Cunningham. Please. I don't like. I don't trust him here. Oh my God. Thank God he got fouled. What the hell, man? All right. So Kristaps has a chance to make this a five point game. He knocks down the first free throw. Also, completely forgot my dumbass was covering the scoreboard. I apologize that you're probably like, Matt, what are you doing? Well, there we go. We got 106, 101, just above two minutes to go. Cade pulls up. Please, please. No, he knocks that down. Tatum, three ball. Great look. Please, Tatum, bang. Let's go. It is a four point game. All right, Drew, I need you to clamp up on Brunson here. I do. Come on. Good defense. Good defense. Good defense, Drew. I don't... Wow, we got that to go. Why can't somebody ever hit back-to-back -back threes, man? Tatum was wide open right there. Damn it, a sword. Thompson, wow, did not get fouled. Um, I don't know how we didn't get a block there. Kick it up to Jalen Brown. Kind of want to take that, but I'm not going to. Find Tatum there. Please, and one. I need it. Oh, my God, Tatum! All right, kick that out to KP. He's going to miss that, isn't he? Oh my God, I hate my life. Can get out to KP again. All right. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We are screwed, basically. Tatum inside. Go up. Tatum, right hand. That's good. Still a four-point game. That was an awful possession. But thank God Tatum was a beast on the boards there. So this would maybe be rock bottom, losing again in round one. Ivy off the screen. Oh my God, someone's got to guard him, damn it. Um, so KP is guarding Brunson. We are screwed right here. We are screwed. Um, can we switch on the ball screen? Jalen Smith, why didn't you come up? Luckily, he did miss that. All right, we got to score quickly. Kick it over to Tatum. Kristaps with the sword, Thompson on him with the left hand. That's not going to go, and we're going to fucking lose in game seven. What a horrible start to this 10-year rebuild. All right, so let's see who's going to go to the NBA Finals. The Detroit Pistons are going to lose to the Pacers, and they are going to go up against the Pelicans here in the Finals, and the Pelicans win in six with Zion Williamson winning Finals MVP. We need our Duke star to get a ring as Drew Holiday 
does retire off of that one-year deal. Chris Paul, James Harden, and Paul George all head to the Hall of Fame. We'll probably add an expansion team or two next year if my dumbass can remember to do so. I don't even think we have our first round pick in this draft. I think that is going to be from um, maybe the Simone Fontecchio trade, which is horrible. So I just lost pick 20 in this draft. All right, he didn't play at all last year for Portland. I'm going to send two second round picks in this draft and Jonathan Isaac for Tumani Kamara, who could be some nice big man depth piece. AJ Devanza goes number one to the Houston Rockets. So the Pelicans won it all and they get Cameron Boozer at two. Kamal Malak number three to the Wizards. Darren Peterson, four to the Thunder. And five, Malik Thomas to the, I think that was the Magic. So we got Paul Bowl. I don't know if he's related to Bowl Bowl. He could be um, 18 years old, um, 6'10 in the second round. Maybe we'll be a G League guy. Jordan Walsh. I'll pick it up, but he could be in a trade. Kalel where I don't know if he's going to crack the rotation next year. I mean, I don't think Chris Ops is going to be back. So we're going to work out a sign and trade with Chris Ops Porzingis. I'm going to bring him back on a four-year deal, but then I'm going to pretty much immediately trade him. Yep, and here is the trade we're going to do. Chris Ops Porzingis and Jordan Walsh for Cade Cunningham and a first-round pick. I mean, they still got Jalen Brunson. Um, they could probably make it work between both of them, but they're going to be interested in KP. And I'm going to get Cade Cunningham. I'm just trying to figure out, like, that's going to move Derek White to the bench. We're definitely going to lack some big man depth with that trade but i think getting kate cunningham an opportunity like he's only playing 25 minutes a night let's free the man i'm also going to look to sign trend and watford as well to a three-year deal because we could use some power forward depth i mean we did pick up to monte kamara this offseason so we have kalel where i'm going to need to sign another center uh we have a couple power forwards i mean we have just studs left and right from point guard all the way to small forward jalen smith ended up getting eight mil a year from the nuggets that's a good pickup for them so i'm going to sign two centers bruno fernando and christian wood so yeah the center part of the team is not looking great but i'm gonna adjust that i'm gonna make another trade with the pistons since they got kp they're gonna give me kavan mooney we're gonna trade them paid and pritchard to be their backup point guard and two second round picks to get looney so Derek White is starting to regress. Ian Jackson progresses. Um, Kate Cunningham is going to be the starting uh, point guard. I'll probably have, I mean, I could start Tatum at the four and start Ian Jackson. Like that's a possibility if I don't want to start Kamara or Watford. All right, so let's construct this rotation. This is what they want to come up with. I think if we're going to do that, I'm fine with starting Ian Jackson at the two. Derek White is a six man. Kavon Mooney and Kalo Ware can each get 24 minutes a night. Um, and then we can see if we want to end up giving like Fernando or Wood minutes. I'm going to send um, Paul Bull to the G League. So for the backup power forwards, I'm probably going to go like 17 of these guys. Maybe we'll do like 23 to Looney. I'm um, just trying to kind of construct this rotation. I'm cool with 27 to Jackson. 28 to Derek White seems low, but that's what we may rock with right now. Since the proficiency is going to be four stars, I'm going to send Paul Bull to the G League, the main Celtics. Um, they were the Red Claws at one point, right? That sounds familiar. So we ended up winning by 12 against the Pistons. We held them to nine points there in the second quarter. So they did bring back Jaden Ivey. So it even makes more sense that they made the Kristaps Porzingis trade. Um, he has 16 points, shot five for eight there. Um, but yeah, Kate was phenomenal against his former team. Obviously, he wanted to ball it against them. Road game against the Spurs. We lost by 16. I'm hoping this is the best team we have fielded, uh, fielded out yet. I don't know how we didn't do anything in year number one, and we lost to an 18 at Hawks. I, I don't even want to talk about it, man. It made me so upset. So hopefully this team bounces back this year, and we could win a playoff series or two or three. All right, so we were 34 and 16 at the trade deadline. This is our best kind of record, I think, at the deadline in a minute, probably since like the year one current day Boston Celtics. Shout out to Bronny, who's just a beast there for the Clippers. Um, as we are um, 18 games or whatever above 500, Kate Cunningham is looking like an absolute beast. Uh, Tatum is taking maybe a little bit of a step back offensively, but that's fine. Um, we can figure that out because I would like for Tatum to still end up being a 25 point per game score. Um, we'll see the fit with this team kind of going forward. Derek White obviously impacts the game in so many different ways. Like, I don't know if I'm going to pay Ian Jackson eventually um, because do we value his scoring? Man, I could probably use another big man. I mean, Tamani Kamara has been fine. Uh, or no, that's Trent and Watford. Kamara has been whatever, actually. Uh, Kavon Mooney, though, I mean, he's been fine. I don't know if I'd move on from Ware. The problem is Ware's not really making enough money to trade him. I guess in a perfect world, I maybe move uh, Jalen Brown for a center, but I'm not there yet. Let's re-sign Tatum three more years as a Celtic. Obviously, we want to make him a Celtic for life. Tamani Kamara, I will give him a two-year extension as well. Shout out to him from Dayton, man. They're going to have three NBA players with Obi Toppin, Kamara, and uh, Deron Holmes, who should be a first-round pick in this upcoming draft. There could even be another guy from Dayton. I'm just missing it out. We are four and a half stars balanced. All right. Maybe, maybe we're just going to let this team run its course and hopefully we can win a championship in 2027. So Shea goes back to back with MVPs, 26 and 10. AJ Devanta is your rookie of the year. Cooper Flag, six man of the year. Wemby is Depoy. Most improved goes to Bronny James. Giannis, clutch player of the year. I feel like I never see that from Giannis and Will Hardy, coach of the year. Pretty normal all NBA first team in 2027. Second team, I would say fairly normal as well. Third team, we got Bronny James on it. We got Kate Cunningham, first year Boston Celtic. I'm very happy about that pickup. And he's under contract for the next three years as well. So, 
um, yeah, I don't know who my next scapegoat will be. I fired Joe Missoula. I've traded Kristaps Porzingis. It doesn't like I don't want to have to worry about moving Jalen Brown because I'd like to win a title with the Jays. And we're going up against the Pistons in round number one, the team that beat us last year. Here was a scoring allocation from this season. I'm worried about our big man play come playoff time. So we'll see what can happen. And Cade only averaged 5.8 assists, which is interesting. So it's going to be Cade, White, Brown, Tatum, where uh, Ian Jackson can come off the bench. He's going to get like 25 minutes. I think I'm going to play. Do I want to play where or do I want to play Looney? I think I may just do the 24 minutes a piece thing and they can kind of each play a decent amount. We're going to go 14 to the backup power forwards. Gives me around two more minutes here. Um, we'll just give them to Jalen Brown. All right, here we go. Take it on Detroit. Game number one, we do pick up the victory. We are the one seed. Last time we were the one seed, we ended up getting swept by the Hawks. This time we are up 2-0 against the eight seed. We also have Kate Cunningham now, who fouled out in 20 minutes. Love to see that. Game number three goes to the Boston Celtics. We ended up winning by two points. Jalen Brown drops 35. Hell yeah, man. All right, he's averaging 23 there in round number one. Are we going to blow a 3-0 lead? That would be funny. Oh my God. <laughs> they ended up winning two unanswered. That would just be a new low, a new rock bottom of this video as we advance though. And we are going to be taking on, ooh, Derek White and Chloe. Where we're not great. But yeah, we're going to be taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. You got Cleveland and Indiana down there. So Philly and Boston. I mean, it's a rivalry, uh, rivalry excuse me, um, between these two teams for the past couple of years in real life, but it's always gone to Boston. But this Philly team is actually pretty good. They somehow ended up with Ron Holland, and they ended up with Isaiah Collier. I mean, shout out to 2K, probably giving them the Raptors pick. And they got Wendell Carter Jr. off the bench. Game one, though, does go to Boston. I can't really try to imagine Kalel Ware um, guarding Embiid or Kevon Mooney. Game number two, though, we are up 2-0. That's what I'm talking about. Game three goes to Boston. We are now one game away from going to our first conference finals of this video. Do not blow a 3-0 lead. Same thing happens. They win two unanswered, but then we win game six. Cade was a freaking beast in that series, man. Yeah, Tatum's kind of been struggling in the playoffs. So we're taking on the Pacers, a team that has been really freaking good as of late in this video as they won, I think, a title already and they lost in the finals last year to the Pelicans. Yeah, they've been good. All right, so can we beat them? Game number one goes to Boston. We've won every game one in the playoffs so far. Game number two, goes to Indiana. There it goes. There goes our streak. Game three goes to Indiana by 20. It's not what I like to see. It's not what I like to see. Game four goes to Indiana. Don't go. Come on. Oh my God. Uh, it's just like not winning a finals sucks like four years in. Uh, four years in, no ring. I forgot to add an expansion team as well. Maybe I could still do it. But yeah, that's that's brutal. No, wait, this was, yeah, this was year four um, in the Thunder. Get another ring. Shea is your finals MVP. All right, so we're going to be adding it to two smaller Midwest cities. I guess Kansas City is somewhat bigger just because um, they have the Royals and they have the Chiefs. Um, but we're going to add a team in Nebraska as well with the Omaha Airmen. So LeBron retires as a Raptor at 42 years old. There goes Mike Conley, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Vucevic. LeBron heads to the Hall of Fame, gets his jersey retired by three different teams. So like the Kansas City Knights are going to be in the Southwest. Um, and then we are going to throw the Omaha Airmen. And then, I mean, this is in the Northwest. I kind of forgot to change this. Um, so this was this is what it looks like now. You have the Grizzlies in the Southeast and they moved the Wizards to the Atlantic, which I'm fine with. It's not the end of the world as long as the conferences are even. All right, draft lottery time. I don't think I have a lottery pick here. So we will see where we are selecting. Oh, I do have Detroit's first at 19. I think that's from the KP trade. Do we have our pick as well? We do at 31. Um, all right, so we got two first round picks here. Because we've had such a lack of depth in this video, I plan on making both those picks. Could I steal Darko Rojakovic to be my top assistant? Boom. All right, so we're not gonna be able to keep someone. I guess it's gonna be Paul Bull, unfortunately. So Moses Moody is the number one pick. Then it's Kevin Porter Jr., Yusuf Nurkic, Andrew Wiggins goes, Tyus Jones, or is that Trey Jones? That's Trey Jones. Davion Mitchell, Daron Sharp, Malcolm Brogdon, DeAnthony Melton, Bryson Tucker, Lou Dort. Are we gonna lose Paul Bull? We may not. No, we ended up losing him, unfortunately. He ends up going to the Omaha. Hot airman. All right, so the draft has concluded. Cliff Byers from Seton Hall looks like an absolute stud. Sean Newman looks pretty good too, but yeah, the Bulls got a stud there, and the Jazz ended up taking two power forwards at two and three. We took Radu Imanescu, um, 19th overall from Romania, and we got Scott Nash with one T out of Wyoming. So we took two big men there. Get to pick up with the team options on Ian Jackson and Kalel Ware. Giannis opts out. Obviously, we are not going to have cap space. I am going to make a pretty big trade though. I'm good. I wanted to win a title with Derek White. I don't know if I can get two first round picks from the Pelicans but if I could trade him for Mitchell Robinson, I think that would be a massive upgrade for us. Mitchell Robinson's under contract for the next two years. Like Derek White, I'd save six mil against the uh, luxury tax and we'd get two first in this deal. They would want my swap. 
Do I like their unprotected better than that? I mean, I feel like both us and San Antonio are going to be good next year. So I will agree to that trade. And I mean, looking at our roster, we have pretty much our starting point guard, uh, shooting guard, small forward. I mean, power forward could be one of these guys. I mean, we have Mitch Robb. I could make Kalel wear a power forward. It's still a little bit thin on the bench. So I'm going to sign Brandon Clark actually to a two-year deal, uh, fully guaranteed. Because I think I'm going to let Kavon Mooney walk. Yeah, ya or excuse me, Wemby goes back to the Spurs. Giannis goes back to the Bucks. De'Aaron Fox goes to the Clippers. Brandon Miller to the Heat. Jabari Smith to the Hawks. So Tatum is done kind of progressing. Same with Jalen Brown. There's Ian Jackson up to an 84 overall. Mitch Robin in 84. Kalel Ware to 78. All right, so I think um, Radu and uh, Scott Nash will both be in the G League. So this is going to be the team uh, this year. It's going to be Kate at the 1, Ian Jackson at the 2, Jalen Brown 3, Tatum 4, Mitchell Robinson 5. Um, we're going to have Kalel Ware, Tumani Kamara, Trendon Watford, uh, Brandon Clark all coming off the bench. I think I'm going to play Watford actually more minutes than Clark and Kamara. See, like it gets to the point of like this year in um, like for 2K and I've added two expansion teams as well. That like RJ Barrett is still a free agent. Like Hame Hakez is a free agent. Um, Julian Strother is a free agent as well. I guess it's because a lot of the draft, pick, or the draft picks coming in are pretty high overalls. Like Bronny James should not be this good. Um, and a lot of those prospects from the 2024, 25, and six draft classes are. And that's just how they're going to be if you want realistic names to it. So maybe um, I should just limit it to one year. Maybe I shouldn't do the 2026 draft. You guys can let me know what you think is best optimized for that. I like having the realistic names in here. I think I would definitely want the 2024 class in. But outside of that, maybe we can limit it a little bit off to a fantastic start this season. All right, so we are here at the trade deadline with a 40 and eight record. This is by far our best record yet. We have the top record in the NBA, best offensive team in the East, best defensive team in the East. This has to be the year we win a championship, right? Like getting Mitchell Robinson, Cade's averaging 28.7 points and seven and a half assists. Jason Tatum is averaging 26. Brown's averaging 22. Ian Jackson's averaging 20 points in his third year in the NBA. Kalo Ware has been playing very well for us off the bench. Mitchell Robinson's giving us some good big man minutes for sure. This has to be the year, right? This has to be the year we finally start our dynasty. Me thinking I could have started my dynasty in year number one. Maybe we're going to start it this year in year number five. All right, I did not think he was going to end up winning MVP when I traded for him. But yeah, Kate just won MVP for the Boston Celtics. 27 points, four rebounds, seven and a half assists, 50, 40, 90 efficiency. And he's still just 26 years old. Oh my God, this may be the best rookie I have seen. That's an auto-generated rookie. Because usually they'll maybe put up 14 points eight rebounds, four assists. Um, that's what he did, but he put up 12 rebounds, four assists, but 22 points as a rookie, 1.8 blocks and steals. That is insane from Cliff Byers. Bronny James is your sixth man of the year. Wemby gets deep points. Scoot Henderson in Kansas City is your most improved. That's pretty cool. Luka, clutch player of the year. And we get coach of the year. Hell yeah. So we get Kate on all NBA first team, joined by Luka, Jokic, Wemby, and Cliff Byers as a goddamn rookie. That is absurd, man. That is absurd. Um, so here is second team, third team. We do get Jason Tatum on All-NBA third team. Welcome back to averaging 25 a night, Tatum. It's been a little bit. Uh, we don't get any Celtics on the all-defensive teams, which is fine. Wuga Poplar, who's a 2024 draft pick, is on an all-rookie team in 2029. That's funny, or wh whatever year we're in. 2028, I am mistaken. So we are the one seed in the East, taking on the eight-seeded Bucks here in round number one. Um, Johnny Flanders is their point guard. Uh, Amen Thompson is there. Maybe he should be your point guard. Struess, Giannis. Yeah, I mean, Anthony Simons. Yeah, why don't you run Simons at the two, Vince Williams at the three, and Amen at the one? But this team was elite this year. We had four 20 point per game scores. Ian Jackson was that dude. And with him being a restricted free agent next year, and Jalen Brown getting up there. And it's just, I'm just saying it might be an idea that we may be choosing Jackson because of his youth over Jalen Brown when that time comes. But yeah, we ended up going 68 and 14. All right, so please don't win 68 games just to lose in round number one. Um, we are tied to, oh my God, we won in seven games. God damn it. God damn it. They're gonna like take years off my life. We blow them out in game seven, but why does it have to come to that? Why can't we win a title before, or like why, why can't we win a series convincingly after having the best regular season record in the NBA and having the best team arguably in the NBA right now? Damn, man. So we're taking on the Cavs here with Garland and Mitchell still there. Melvin Ajinka still have Mobley and Allen. That's a good team. Game number one against Cleveland goes to Boston. All right, we dropped 157 on their heads. Game number two goes to Boston. Let's go. We dropped 123. Let's go 3-0. There we go. Do not blow a 3-0 lead. Boom, a sweep. Was that too much to ever ask for? Thank you, man. Thank you. Here we are taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, it's always weird saying that. All right, so game one against Memphis, we do end up winning. All right, by 17. Ian Jackson dropped 33 points. He may be him. Game number two goes to Memphis. All right, 
I guess it wasn't gonna be easy. I just wanna make my first finals. No, we're down two to one. Don't go down three to one. Thank you, two to two. Let's win game five. All right, game number five. It's at the TD Garden. I wanna say the Garden, but no. The real Garden is Madison Square Garden. All right, we're blowing them out. Let's go. We're gonna be going up three games to two. Let's not go to a game seven. All right, let's just, okay, we blow them out by 49 points. That is what I'm talking about, man. Kalel Ware has low key been kind of a beast for us. Um, He may be due for an extension. Yeah, because he's a restricted free agent this offseason. Don't go to a game seven. Yes! We're in the finals, baby. Jalen Brown, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Chad Holmgren, Western Conference Finals MVP. We're taking on Mark Dagno's former team, the OKC Thunder in the finals. We have four 20-point-per-game scores. Let's get it done, man. Let's beat the Thunder. They got VJ Edgecombe, Kelly Oubre, Cooper Fleck. Just the fact that they got Cooper Fleck is kind of insane. And they have so many high draft picks. Game one goes to the Thunder by four. Game two goes to the Thunder by a lot. Oh, man. Game three goes to the Celtics. We're alive. We blow them out. Can we keep up the road team winning streak? Nope. They go up three to one. Oh, my God. We lost by one in overtime. We lost game one by four and then game four by one. Ah, luck was never on our side. We do force a game six. Damn, man. As long as... Oh, my God. We could have been up three games to two potentially if we won that overtime game. Just don't get blown out. I would like to force a game seven. That would be cool. There we go. Great third quarter from the Celtics. All right. We are... Up 98, 94 with just under eight minutes to go. We're up by six. Don't make me have to hop in. I'm scared. Oh my God, we're up by one. All right, let's hop in. I'm hoping we just have the ball and I could just, okay, we, we do. And Cade is a 50, 40, 90 guy. We're going to get him to the line. Obviously, they're going to foul pretty much right away. All right, Cade, I need you to hit both of these. You're in a lead for your throw shooter. Knocks on the first to give us a two-point lead. Come on, give me the three-point lead. They do have two timeouts and they're probably going to use one right here. All right, so we got Mitrov out there guarding Chet, which is good. We have Cade. Okay, no, my God. Chet gets a great look and he knocks it down. Come on. <laughs> oh, all right, so I guess we're going to take the final shot here to try to force a game seven. All right, Tatum, find Mitchell Robinson inside. Mitch, please, no, he blocked it. Oh my God, what? How is that not goaltending? Mitch, why didn't you try to dunk it? You could have made up for your lack of defensive play on the possession prior. Now we got to go to overtime. All right, for the love of God, please stay in this game. Uh, I blew it. Oh my God, man, I blew it. I don't even think I blew it. Oh. I mean, all I had to do was not make them hit a three, or I could have just hit that final shot. We're down by eight. And they're at the free throw line. Come on. VJ Edgecomb, oh my God, he gets two free throws too. We're really about to be down by 10. What the hell happened? You guys just didn't want to score in the first three minutes of overtime? Why is Trenton Watford in the game right now? Did guys foul out? I don't know. Well, he's running a pick and roll. He's going to go... All right, I'm done. I'm done. We ended up losing by 10 in overtime, and we have lost the finals in six games. So finals MVP is going to go to Shea Gilgis-Alexander, and we're going to get here into the offseason. Steph retires, Kawhi, Dame, Middleton, Draymond. Make sure I have 20. Uh, 2009 guys in Curry, 12 guys in Lillard, Middleton, and Green, 11 in Kawhi. So I'll go Bear retire from the 2013 draft class. Curry, Dame, and Kawhi are heading to the Hall of Fame. The Knights get the number one overall pick. Airman number two. So yeah, shout out to the expansion teams. Uh, the Pelicans have our pick at 31. Do we own the Pelicans pick? No, we do not. So we, I don't think, own a first round pick in this draft. Okay. Um, so maybe it's the next two that we ended up getting from that uh, Pelican trade. So Jalen Brown's in the last year of his contract. Um, Ian Jackson's going to be a restricted free agent next year. We do have a Cavs first round pick next year. We have a Pelicans first round pick next year and our first rounder. So let's see who the expansion teams ended up with. Gary Banks, um, and they ended up with Courtney Wagner. Okay. Not as good as like a Cliff Byers to the Bulls from last year's class. Ian Jackson, we are picking up that team option. Brunson opts out. Kyrie opts out. Kalel Ware, we will extend the qualifying offer to. I feel like we can get him back on that QO. And we're going to bring back Ware on a three-year, $20 million deal to be the backup center. And then I'm going to try to send Trenton Watford to the Kansas City Knights for three second round picks because I want to see what some of these younger guys can do like uh, Radu Imanescu or Scott Nash next year. All right, play progression. Ian Jackson's up to an 86 overall. Uh, Brandon Clark regresses. I don't know, man. I, I keep running out a really good team, and we still have yet to win a title in this video. We're definitely finding out the struggles. Maybe the Celtics are now cursed or something. All right, so let's construct this next year's rotation. We look a little bit different. We're going to go with Cade, Ian Jackson, Brown, Tatum, and Mitch Robb. This could be really a nice core for uh, Kalel Ware off the bench. Um, he can get like 23 minutes a night. Tumani Kamara can get like 17. Brandon Clark. Honestly, let's just do like 10 to Clark. I would like to see yeah, what Radu can do. And I would like to see what Scott Nash can do with 12 minutes a night. System proficiencies, four and a half stars. Maybe he could get up to five stars by the end of the year. We start off the year with a loss against the Washington Wizards. Okay. 
We ended up beating the Phoenix Suns as well. Jalen Brown wants a four-year extension. I may wait till the offseason for that one, but since Kate is 27, I'm going to give him a four-year extension. So, I mean, basically just looking at our salary cap right now, right now, like, yeah, we'll have 65 million off the bucks, but we'll see if we bring him back. Obviously, Tatum's making the big bucks. Cade's going to be making the big bucks next year. Where's under contract? Uh, Radu and Nash. But yeah, we're going to have a ton of free agents. Like Mitchell Robinson's a free agent. Ian Jackson's going to be restricted. Kamara and Brandon Clark are free agents as well. Luckily, we will have three first round picks in this upcoming draft. Let's hope either the Pelicans or the Cavs are bad this year. But I doubt that's going to happen though. They're usually pretty good by now. All right, so we are 40 and 11 at the deadline. We're pretty much better than, or we're not better than we were last year, but we're right up there um, as one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. Uh, we still have like the Jalen Brown expiring contract. Like, kind of hovering over our heads and luring over us. Uh, Scott Nash has not been efficient in his rookie year, to say the least. Rodgers definitely been better. I mean, I could look to make a move at the deadline. Let me see. Where are the Pelicans and the Cavs at? So the Cavs are the two seed in the East. Pelicans are the six seed in the West. Yeah, those picks are probably going to be non-lottery ones. And I think I'm going to do this blockbuster with the Toronto Raptors. So Zach Eadie's an expiring contract but he's developed into a pretty good center. He's going to be a nice one-year rental for the Raptors because they're going to get two first-round picks from me. One from the Cavs this year, the Pelicans pick in 2031. I'm going to give them to Monty Kamara and Mitchell Robinson. I'm going to see if I can get Emmanuel quickly in this deal as well to come off the bench for us. And I think they're going to do that. Who's under contract going forward. Boom. That is a major deal that we just added. So we traded one former Nick and Mitchell Robinson, added another one in Emmanuel quickly. And I feel like we got better here at the deadline. So I don't think I'm going to play Scott Nash for the remaining part of the season. We saw what we could from him this year. I may even send him down to the G League. Emmanuel quickly is going to be getting some decent bench minutes. Obviously, I'm going to start Zach Eady at the five. We're probably going to give Eady like 30 minutes a night. Kaloware could probably play like 20 still, but he's been he's been pretty solid this year because uh, he's been a good three-point shooter. Um, and then I think I'm going to do the rest just to Emmanuel quickly. He's going to get 27 minutes as a six man. Um, Radu and then Brandon Clark. We have Eady there. We have plenty of big man depth. Hopefully this team can win a championship now. I feel like this is definitely the best team I put out there from top to bottom, starting lineups, bench, and coaching. Unfortunately, I'm not eligible to bring back Edie, so hopefully we have the bird rights to go over the cap for him. Yeah, Bronny James and his development has gone too far. He's winning MVP averaging 32 and 12. What? What? Like, he could maybe never even play, like, notable minutes in the NBA, and he's winning MVP in this. Isaiah Collier, sixth man of the year in Charlotte. Bronny wins most improved. Rob Dillingham, clutch player of the year. Shout out to him actually being a beast in Chicago. And Will Hardy, coach of the year. We did get Cade on All-NBA third team. And both Nash and Eminescu are on All-Rookie second team. So I did want to see the Rockets team because uh, I don't know why they have Dillingham. Wait, is he coming off the bench or is he the shooting guard? Wait, where is... No, no, Dillingham's on the Bulls, not the Rockets. Like, they got Rob Dillingham, Grady Dick, Corey Kispert, Tari Eason, Cliff Byers. That's a fun, fun starting five for the future. Cliff Byers is obviously a stud. They have Kobe White and Monzo still there as well. JQ, GG Jackson, former Celtic Jordan Walsh I saw there. We finished as the two seed. Here were the numbers with Ian Jackson kind of emerging as the number two. So I feel like I got to re-sign him. We're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks here in round number one, a team that we beat in round number one last year. They've added James Wiseman to the fold. So I'm going to play the starting five a ton of minutes. Please, let's beat Milwaukee and advance to round number two. They were up 1-0. We're tied 2-2. Two two. We're up 3-2. We're going to go to a game seven, aren't we? Nope, we end up winning in six. We won in overtime. Hopefully, we learn to win these overtime games. All right, Zach Eady, I see you. Shout out to Jason Tatum going one for 11 from three in this game. Quickly, didn't shoot the ball all that well either. So we're taking on that ball team that I just talked about. So we got to go up against Cliff Byers. Hopefully, Zach Eady can hold his own against them. Game number one goes to Boston. I feel like we're going to beat them, but I'm not going to get too confident. We're up 2-0. Go up 3-0. There we go. So I think we swept round two last year. This year, we end up gentlemen sweeping the Chicago Bulls. And here have been the playoff stats so far. We're averaging four guys, or four guys are averaging 20 points and Edie isn't far behind. All right. So we have such a good team. Such a good team. Let's beat Charlotte, please. With Lamelo, Jacoby Walter, Jed Howard, Ethan Amonson, Mark Williams, Isaiah Collier, Miles Bridges, Nicole Jovich, Andre Jackson. Please beat them and go to the NBA Finals. There we go. We end up winning in six. We're going up against the Pelicans. Cameron Boozer, Western Conference Finals MVP. Tatum in the East. All right. We're back in the finals, man. We're back in the finals. Do not tell me we're going to have two straight finals L's. We win game number one. We blow them out. Let's win game two. We lost this game. Okay. Uh, Zion, Boozer, they have Dylan Harper. Their team is so good. Ingram, Market, and Capella. What? They have Rocco Zakarski. We're up two to one. As I'm losing steam on my face cam here, let's go up three to one. They tie it up. Don't go down three to two. I hate my life. Oh my God, we're down three to two. Do not do this, man. Do not lose. Oh my God, we're going to lose back to back finals, aren't we? Uh, I mean, the odds of us winning this series are so low. Don't choke this, please. Oh my God, you guys fucking choked it. Come on. I just want to win one finals. I want to win one finals. We're getting so close every year. 
Oh my God, back-to-back -back finals losses in six games. You gotta be kidding me. What do I need to do? This team is so freaking good. It's so good. And we have such a good coach too. Um, Bradley Beal and KD retire. So what are the Suns gonna do? I do not know. KD heads to the Hall of Fame, gets his jersey retired by the Thunder. So we get the Pelicans pick at 32. Nice, and now we're pick at 29. Guess I'm gonna bring back Mark Dagno. I feel like I have to. All right, so we ended up getting a guy by the name of Cole Cheeks. Thought his name was funny. Seven foot, 21 years old, out of Dayton. Another Dayton guy into the NBA. And we got Sidney Burks at 21 year old, 6'9" big, so a little bit undersized out of BC. The number one overall pick was really good. It was Kirk Meyer, um, and the Grizzlies got Josh Blackman at number two. So the expansion teams missed out on maybe a generational one-two picks. Uh, we could look to move Scott Nash this offseason. You have Paolo, and you have um, Scotty Barnes hitting free agency. Uh, Jalen Brown is a popular name on the market. He got four years, 184 from the Sixers. I gotta pay him. I gotta pay Ian Jackson. I'm not giving Brown that much money oh my god i don't want to give him five years i'll give him three years at 60 million oh my god wow because he got that super max that is insane um i will offer him that three years 180 or 194 goes up to that's absurd i'm hoping 2k allows me to sign zach Eady. i'm not sure if we get bird rights on him we're about to find out ian jackson gets a deal from the nuggets four years 140 yeah we're basically we have no money so i can't afford zach Eady. Great. So our team is going to get worse next year. Um, I guess for competition, we could try to bring in Jamario Sharp, 7-5 Kentucky. Never really played in the league. Sure, I'll bring him in on a two-year deal. Maybe he has some potential. We have to renounce the rights on Zach Eady, which sucks because I was actually ready to extend him and make him a Celtic for the rest of this video. All right, play progression. Emmanuel quickly starting to regress. He's got one year left on his deal. Ah, I was hoping to get Ian Jackson at a much cheaper price. Don't worry, my face cam will come back at the end of next year. I just have to kind of restart my computer. All right, so we are 30 and 22 at the deadline. I'm like wondering if we want to add another big man um i don't know kolo is i feel like fine he's been here for so long but this team i don't know man i feel like last year we were so much better i mean we have a stud backcourt and a stud forward combo it's just i don't know if this team is good enough to get to the next level i think like jamario sharp has been fine as a big man for us um i think radu's also been fine as a rotational piece scott nash isn't very good unfortunately in coach cheeks has been cheeks quickly is a free agent at the end of the year i think i may give him a three-year extension and we're gonna do that uh because he's still a good guard for us like combo guard off the bench let's give tatum a two-year extension as well and let's see if this team can get over the hump but honestly we've been much better the last two years so i don't know if that's gonna happen this year and Bronny james has won more mvps in this video than we have finals and we've been to two of them so that is very upsetting tower smith clutch player of the year on the clippers i would like to have some foundation at the five it's funny because Khalil Ware has been here since basically year number one but i don't feel like he's been good enough to really justify him at the five spot we did end the season as the two seed which is a testament to i guess our second half play which is great to see 48 and 34 though not a great record it was a down year for sure for the eastern conference like the two seed in the east would have been the six seed in the west and here were the end of the season statistics I'm I'm not obviously going to be optimistic because we have yet to win the finals. We are taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in round number one. They still, I believe, have Ja Morant. Um, they have Ja, Kurt Phillips, Adem Bona, Lee McNeely, uh, Josh Blackman. Oh, KP, former Celtic. All right, let's see what happens here against the Grizzlies in round number one. We are up three to one on them, and we win in five. Good series for Jason Tatum. We'll take that. But now we're taking on the Cavs in round number two. Still have Garland and Mitchell. Still have Mobley and Allen. They were able to sign RJ Barrett off the bench. Are you kidding me? For the minimum. When could I have pulled that off? Why can I never pull that off? Damn. All right. So let's see what happens here. Game number one. They win. Two. We win. Three. They win. Don't lose four. Oh my God. Game five. Oh my God. God damn it. I don't want to do a Celtics rebuild ever again. I don't. I really don't. I, I have to move Jalen Brown this offseason. I have to. I either have to move Jalen Brown or Ian Jackson for, I guess, a big man. God damn it, man. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, another year goes by, no ring. I'm getting flashbacks to the Phoenix Suns rebuild. So that was year seven. We have three years left. I, I mean, I think we can win one, but I don't know, man. I don't really know. Joel Embiid heads to the Hall of Fame. He gets his jersey retired by the Sixers. I'm not going to eliminate the goaltending rule. I don't think I'm going to fire Mark Dagno. We have our first round pick at 26. All right, I'm going to try to work on a trade that's going to send Jalen Brown to the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram, because they're pretty similar, and I'm going to get Donovan Klingon, maybe on a bad contract at 27 mil a year, but at least he's under contract for us going forward. They want Kalel Ware in this deal, but I'd rather throw in like Jamario Sharp, and I think that could get it done. Are they going to counter at least Emmanuel Quickly for Reed Mercer? We are not going to do that. I will give you 26. Also, you're getting greedy now. You're getting real greedy. Why do you want Kalel Ware that much? Please let me keep him, and I will give you one more second. 
Oh my God. All right, what about Sydney Burks instead? Really? What about, uh, man, I guess I'll give you cheeks. I'll give you cold cheeks. Does that get it done? Oh my God, really? Um, and I'll give you my, I don't know. I'm doing all this to keep Khalil Ware. Maybe I'll wait till after team player options to move Jalen Brown. So Junior Wingate was the number one overall pick to the Utah Jazz. 76ers look like they found the Joel Embiid replacement. We ended up drafting Malik Rogers, 19 year old wing out of Mississippi at 26. We got Johnny Anderson, 73 overall in the second round, not too bad. And Ronnie Arthur as well in the second round. We're going to pick up Radu and Scott Nash's contracts. All right, Jalen Brown and Scott Nash for an expiring Alperu and Shangun and Daniel Gafford, they don't even counter. I mean, I really can't throw in too much after this deal. I just want Shangun. Like, that's who I really want. I really can't throw in anybody else because they don't really have any money. I would throw in Johnny Anderson, our second round pick. What about Ronnie Arthur? Nope, they don't want to do that. They don't want to move Shangun. I have no idea if the Hawks will do this. They say no. What about if I throw in a first round pick? Still say no. All right, so I think I'm going to do this trade with the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm going to decide on getting Jaron Jackson Jr. and Adembona, who I could maybe flip, but he could be a bench piece. And Jaron Jackson Jr. is definitely going to be our power forward. Tatum's going to be the three, Ian Jackson at the two. Scott Nash and Cole Cheeks are going to be in this trade as well. And Jackson's making a little bit less money, well, almost half the contract of Jalen Brown. So it's going to hit us uh, a little bit less against the hard cap. So we are going to make him a power forward. And then I got to figure out what else I want to do with this team. And then we're going to do this trade with the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going to send them a Dembona. We're going to flip him. who has got potential and Radu Imanescu so I can keep Kalel Ware in this deal. We're getting a water protected pick from the Hornets and I'm getting Mark Williams, who's under contract as well. That's something I was looking for. Uh, four years, 108. We're going to have Kalel Ware as the backup. Um, we can include some of these guys in trades later on. Maybe I'm just going to look for a backup wing here if I have a mid-level exception. Not really, but I think I'm going to offer Dalton Connect a two-year deal to come here who could possibly get minutes for us as we enter year number eight with still no ring. All right, so Tatum is 32 years old. He's at 95 overall. Then it's Cade, Ian Jackson, Triple J, who's going to start progressing, but at least he's under contract going forward. Maybe just having like a more definitive front court and some size in there and defensive ability can get us over the hump. That's like the one thing I feel like we haven't had yet. All right, so let's see what this rotation is going to look like. That is definitely not going to be the starting five because we're going to start Mark Williams. Khalil Ware can get 20 minutes. Let's go 25 to quickly. Um, I don't even think I'm going to play Jamario Sharp. Um, I want to play Dalton Connect like 16 minutes a night. And then I kind of want to see... Uh, my first round pick Malik Rogers in action just to see what he can do. He can get like 12 minutes. And you know what? We'll go 10 to sharp just to keep him fresh, see what he can do. Um, maybe have some trade value. Um, I don't know. I guess was Sidney Burks a first rounder or a second rounder for us? He was a first rounder. Um, might as well just send him to the G League. Doesn't hurt. So under Mark Dagno, we are four and a half star balanced. I mean, this is still a really good team. First game of the season at home against the Timberwolves and we lost by five. All right, it may take a little bit for this team to gel together. So we'll see how they look over time. Home game, okay, not off to a good start. So when is our first win gonna be? Well, it's not, okay, we're 0-3 to start the year. We're 0-4, oh my God, did I get that much worse this off season? <laughs> First win came in game number five. Good Lord. So Luka Doncic wins MVP in his age 32 season. With like kind of the new roster here, we ended up as the fifth seed going up against the four seeded Sixers who no longer have Joel Embiid. I thought about trading Jalen Brown to the Sixers for Ron Holland in that off season, but I didn't do so. I'm a little bit scared for the playoffs, but we're going to see what can happen. I mean... I don't know, man. Year eight. We What do we have to lose at this point? Game number one, we do end up winning by 11. All right. Shout out to Triple J there. Game number two goes to Philly. They ended up winning by eight. Game number three. Come on, let's win this one. Damn it. We go down two to one. We ended up losing by four. Wow. We almost came back there in the fourth. All right. Don't go down three to one because then we're screwed. <laughs> All right, just put me out of my misery right now. Can we come back? Can we come back? Oh my God. Maybe we have luck on our side. Holy crap. Wow, we just did that. I thought for sure year eight was gonna end in disappointment and we we're gonna be a round one exit. But here we are entering round two against the one seed of Pistons led by Kobe Bufkin, Trey Johnson, Asor Thompson, Tari Eason, Alexandra Saar, Dame Saar off the bench. They got the Saar. They're not related. I was gonna say Saar brothers. Uh, game number one goes to Boston. All right, I mean... I'm not going to get confident until we win the title. Game two, we win. All right, we're up 3-0 on the one seed. Hell, hell yeah. We just swept the one seed. That's something that would normally happen to me. Have we turned over a new leaf on this team? Maybe, because we're in the conference finals going up against the Raptors, led by Josh Giddy, Malik Thomas, Benedict Matherin, who you, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe is Canadian. Um, Reggie L. Blackman, what a what a name there. Um, not very good. And Nico uh, Budinger, who I think was a... If I remember correctly, it was an expansion draft pick, but I guess he um, isn't there anymore. All right, let's do it. Let's try to beat this Raptors team and go to our third finals of this video. We win game number one. 
Shout out to Ian Jackson and Mark Williams. Game number two, we win. I heard we're two games away from the finals. They're just going to suck me in and make me lose again, so I don't even care. We're up 3-0. All right, so we ended up winning in seven in round number one, and here we are having a chance to sweep the one and three seeds, and we do just that. Jason Tatum meets your conference finals MVP, Luka in the West. So this team is good. Um, Luka just won MVP as well. They have a lot of good bigs, so maybe I should have tried to trade for Milwaukee or De uh, Derek Lively from them. I did have a trade, I think, on the table for Milwaukee. I forgot if it was a Jalen Brown deal how was Nikola Jovic this far in he's fine um all right Celtics Mavericks finals game number one goes to Dallas they're gonna bring me to the finals just to make me lose game number two all right it's just some joke to you 2k don't tease me like this damn Ian Jackson had a 40 point triple double game three we do win by seven shout out to Kate Cunningham Dalton connect at 20 points game number four goes to Boston all right we're alive I'm not gonna believe it until I see us win game number five. Nope, we are down three games to two. And are we going to lose the finals in six games for the third time in this video? No, we go to a game seven. We won by eight. All right, here we go. Game seven of the NBA finals. Don't do this to me. What a start. Great start, but we're going to choke it basically. And then they're going to take a lead at some point in the fourth quarter. We're up by 12 with 10 minutes left. Usually we're on the other side of those. And oh my God, I think we're going to do it. Finally, year number eight, we win a title. Oh my God, man. Finally. Finally with this team, maybe I just needed to add some new front court pieces. Shout out to Triple J, who's 6'10", averaging four and a half rebounds. That's kind of a disgrace. <laughs> but adding Mark Williams and Triple J got the job done, and we won the finals in 2031. Cade Cunningham gets a finals MVP. After how many years in Boston of just kind of failure, this was year number five for him in Boston. And it was our first year moving Jalen Brown, so maybe Brown and Tatum will never win a title together, which makes no sense, 2K, because they're both two elite two-way wings. All right, so we drafted Leo Perkins at 32, Daryl Richardson, and Colin McGee in the second rounds. Um, we are going to pick up, uh, do I want to pick up Johnny Anderson? No, but I'll pick up Sidney Burks uh, is team option. I probably should have just picked up all of them. And that number one pick was Darnell Hayward. Doesn't look too good going to the Magic number one overall. So qualifying offers, Jamario Sharp, I will bring back just because we don't have a lot of depth on this team at the moment. Lucas, a free agent. Cliff Byers is a free agent. Never really broke I mean, like, he was so much more efficient this year, but still only averaged 21 points a night. Kaloware is a free agent. Let's bring him back. It's going to be like a three-year, $30 million deal. He's been a big part of this team eight years into this video. So I don't know if I'm going to go after anybody else in free agency. I don't really think I can too much. So we're going to run this team back pretty much. So Tatum regresses down to a 94 overall. Kate is still at a 90. He's 29 years old. Hopefully this big three can still get it done. Triple J is starting to regress. Quickly is regressing as well. So Cameron Bruiser wins his first MVP for the Pelicans here. Mike Cox, Rookie of the Year. He was drafted in 2031 with the 11th overall pick. Put up like Michael Carter-Williams type efficiency numbers. Josh Giddy, Sixth Man of the Year. Wemby Depoy. Most improved goes to Rudolph Rush. He was the 29th overall pick in 2028 out of Virginia. Caden Boozer, Clutch Player of the Year. So big to, uh, moments for the sons of Carlos Boozer. Will Hardy is your Coach of the Year in OKC. I don't know if we're going to get anybody on the All-NBA team. Devin Booker is playing in Kansas City. Um, guess it's closer to Kentucky. I don't think he's from Kentucky, but I mean, he could be for all I know. And once again, we are playing in the 4-5 matchup. When we won it all last year, I believe we were the 5 seed. So hey, maybe that's where we want to be with three 20-point per game scores. Um, Emmanuel quickly, though, has not been that good. He's definitely not going to play as much for us in the playoffs. Like, it's going to be Cade, Ian Jackson, Jason Tatum, uh, Triple J, Mark Williams. Cole Ware is going to get a ton of minutes, but I think, like, quickly he's not going to play. Um, Malik Rogers wasn't great uh, his rookie year, and he didn't really play too much for us. So I may just go, like, 15 minutes of these guys. Let's go 25 to where that's fine let's go 32 to the front court 37 to tatum probably 35 to ian jackson 34 to Cade. we'll do something like that actually so round one against toronto uh they have jp berry malik thomas uh benedict matherin reggie l blackman yeah like we should beat this team like they have us no, they're not even that good man we should definitely beat them we're up 2-1 3-2 us we win in six and we're gonna be advancing to round two to take on the brooklyn nets pretty good series from the big three there and then hopefully getting it done from the front court as triple j Maybe not the greatest in the world. Two and a half rebounds. It's embarrassing how bad he is at grabbing boards. So we're taking on the Nets. Haven't really heard about them too much, but they have a good team. They got Jay Wills. They're starting five. Um, but I think they are definitely beatable. We'll see. Um, and let's see what happens here. Atlantic Division matchup. Can we beat them to advance to our second straight conference finals? Yes. We almost blow a 3-0 lead. We were up 3-0. We won game one, won game two. We were up 3-0. And then they rattled off a 20-point win, a one-point win, and an 18-point win. And then we ended up winning by two in game seven. 
See, this is why I like simulating the series because I would have been too stressed out going game by game there and we advanced to the conference finals once again. So we're taking on the Detroit Pistons with Jalen Hutchifino, Trey Johnson, Esor Thompson, Tari Eason, Alexander Saar, uh, Jovan Ruffin, Keon Anthony. Okay, that's a good team. <laughs> they may beat us and this may be the end of our second Cinderella run. Oh my God, we won another game seven. Oh my God, we're back in the finals, man. Let's freaking go. Were we, we were at 1 0. It was 1-1. One, one. I think we were up 3-1. to one. We won game two, or excuse me, won game three. Shout out to Ian Jackson, man. He may be him. Um, yeah, we were up 3-1, and then we almost blew a 3-1 lead. Oh, my God, and then we won in game seven. So we almost blew a 3-0 lead in the second round, and then we almost blew a 3-1 to lead here in game seven. But Ian Jackson and Jason Tatum came through. Terrible game for Cade. J uh, Triple J shot three for 10. Love that. All right, so we're taking on the Thunder here in the NBA Finals. Uh, they have Mikel Bridges. This team is freaking good. Uh, yeah, this is... I don't think we're going to beat them, but we'll see. I mean, they beat us in the finals. When was that? That was in 2028. So this is going to be our fourth finals appearance. We're one and two in them. Can we maybe tie it up? We lose game one by a lot. Damn, am I about to be one and three in the finals? We do win game two. Wow, what a defensive fourth quarter by us. Ian Jackson, you are a beast. Triple J, I don't know what to say about you. We do go down two to one. All right, can we not go down three to one? Two to two, game five, three to two them. Can we force a game seven? No, we end up losing in six. And Shea Gilgis Alexander is your finals MVP. I mean, that team is definitely so much better than us. They end up winning, what, their fourth finals of this video. We end up losing our third finals. Damn, if we didn't win game seven last year, I really could have been 0-4 in, in the NBA finals. That would have just been so embarrassing. So we're heading into year number 10. We could go to five finals in this video, which is pretty impressive because that's obviously half the seasons. AD is going to the Hall of Fame, but we just have had no success with this team. I feel like we haven't had a lottery pick in forever as well. We do have 19 via Charlotte and we do have our first round pick, I believe, and it's going to be at 21. So we got Magnus and Quist. I butchered the hell out of that last name. Uh, we got Michael Farrell there, and then we're going to sign Wesley Lambert. Some of those guys could get traded. I feel like I do have to make some moves here for the final year to get somewhat better. And we're going to make a trade with our buddy, the Charlotte Hornets, where we got Mark Williams from. I'm going to send them Triple J, Emmanuel Quickly, and our most recent first round pick. We're getting King Fleming here, who is a former second round pick. Not very good, but we're getting Liam McNeely. Gives us a little bit more offense at the four. Is Triple J is still more defensive minded. And then I'm going to be moving King Fleming, who we just got Malik Rogers, a former first round pick, and Wesley Lambert for Jake Morivia. Um, And we're getting Jaden Hardy, who I believe won a six man of the year a couple of years ago, or he won a most improved. Yeah, that was in 2026. So not a couple of years ago, almost like 10 years ago. So Jamario Sharp, I'm just going to give the minimum to to come back. Do we have somewhat of a mid-level exception? We really haven't had that in this video, sadly. I'm going to see, do I want to bring back Dalton Connect? Maybe. Um, you know, if I could bring in Jordan Hawkins, I'll take that on a three-year deal. I could also bring back Dalton Connect Suite. So we're going to do that just to have some insurance there for the wing position. And let's sign him there. Uh, did Nikola Jokic end up switching teams? Yep, he goes to the Spurs as Wemby goes to the Kansas City Knights with Devin Booker. That's pretty sick. All right, so Tatum's regressing. There's Cade, who's definitely, like, peaked. But you know what? I still think that this team could go on another run. We never really had a great bench in this video. I feel like just losing Zach Eady for nothing, though, really hurt us a ton. Well, that trade may have saved year number 10. Liam McNeely wins MVP in his first year with the Celtics. I should have traded him instead of for Triple J when I had the chance to. All-NBA first team. And we are the two seed in the Eastern Conference. Finished two games behind the Detroit Pistons for that one seed. So we'll see if we can maybe win it all in the final year. Could we go to our fifth ring? Shout out to McNeely for 10 assists a night as well. And we're going to be taking on the Indiana Pacers, who still have Tyrese Halliburton at their one spot. You're 13. BJ Edgecombe at the two. Brandon Miller at the three. Luka Turk, cool name, at the four. Onyeka Kongu at the five. I, I don't know, man. That's a good seven C. That really is. Can we beat them? They won game two. We go up three to one. We end up winning in five. So we stay alive here in year number 10. Leading scorer from that series was Ian Jackson. Now we're taking on the Miami Heat who have and developed DJ Wagner. No, no. P spent time in Indiana, San Antonio. So yeah, it wasn't Miami. They have Woody Pop or Wooga Poplar, Bryce James, Carson Cooper. Bam is still there. That's pretty cool. Tower Hero is still there as well. Hopefully we're able to beat them in advance of the conference finals. And we do just that. And Atlanta beats Detroit for us. So we're going up against the Hawks here. Um, all right. I almost traded for Jabari Smith. I almost gave up um, Jalen Brown for him, but I opted not to go that route. But maybe maybe I should have. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I regret Triple J, but we did win a title with him. So let's see. Can we beat the Hawks and advance to the NBA Finals? Yeah. We just won in five. Ace Bailey leaves Brooklyn, goes to Denver, your Western Conference Finals MVP. What a year for Liam McNeely. Eastern Conference uh, Finals MVP. MVP could be finals MVP as we are 12 and three here against the seventh, six and four seeds. So we avoided one 
and three in the East. And here we go, Denver, Boston. Could this be the 2024 final matchup? Possibly. We are now in our fifth finals, man. We lost in 2028 to the to the Thunder. We lost in 29 to the Pelicans. We won in uh, 2031 against the Mavericks, but lost in 2032 to the Thunder. Game number one, we win. They don't have Nikola Jokic anymore. He is now in um, San Antonio. So we'll see. I mean, they got Reed Shepard, Ace Bailey. We OMP, we should be able to beat them. We're up 2-0. I honestly think this could be a Mickey Mouse title run. They are the one seed, though, and we're up 3-0 on them. Don't blow a 3-0 lead. We just went 12-3 to end the video. Shout out Liam McNeely. Well, that was, like, the best pickup I ever could have gone for. So, yeah, that is going to end the Celtics 10-year rebuild. We ended up with two rings. I went to five finals. It's just weird that the first one didn't happen till 2028. Just, like, getting swept in year number one against the Hawks was just wild. And then we've had some other like round one exits. Like we missed the playoffs, I think one year or something like that. So it was a weird Celtics rebuild and we didn't win a finals with Drew Holiday, with KP or Jalen Brown. So hope you guys did enjoy this 10 year Celtics rebuild. Let me know if you did by dropping a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which team we should do a 10 year rebuild with next. I also have a new gaming channel as well. It's called Stross Gaming. I'll link it in the description. First link down there where I'm pretty much going to be doing Madden rebuilds, Madden franchise, NCAA football videos when that game comes out over the summer, when NCAA uh, football 25 comes out, MLB the show rebuilds and franchise, like that game comes out next week. So I'm very excited to do that. So be on the lookout for that. Link to that is in the description. Already doing offseason Madden rebuilds with like Kirk Cousins Falcons. Got a Russ Steelers rebuild coming out as well. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys can check that out and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.